Hi, I'm Kara Amir with Coldwell Banker. So now that you've found the house, deciding how much to offer is often like a game of poker. The number one question you may be pondering is how low can you go? Well, the answer depends on a variety of factors. Number one, are you in a buyer or seller's market? In a buyer's market, there are often plenty of homes to choose from, and they aren't going anywhere fast. You likely have time and price on your side. On the other hand, if it's a seller's market, you are not likely to have either in your favor. Little inventory and home selling practically out from underneath you means you'll likely have to go in at full asking price or over to seal the deal. Number two, how long has the home been listed? Do a little sleuthing to find out how long a home has been on the market is helpful in deciding how much to offer. Has it been several days, months, or much longer? If it's only been a short time, then you likely need to come in with a strong offer. If it's been on the market a while with multiple price reductions, this could signal some room to play with. However, if the seller has reduced the price quite a bit, they could be at or very close to their bottom line. This is where a conversation with the listing agent could be most helpful. And number three, how does the price compare to similar homes in the area? No matter the market, you need to do some homework before deciding what to offer. Review the properties that are currently on the market, under contract, and sold around the one you're interested in. You'll need to work with your agent to understand how the home you're considering stacks up to its competition. While sold properties are usually the best indicator of market value, keep in mind that if the market has been appreciating rather rapidly, what sold several months ago may not be a good indicator of fair market value now. And lastly, it comes down to how bad do you want the house? Despite facts and figures along with market dynamics, you can't put a price on one intangible factor, your desire to buy it. If the home checks all of your boxes and is exactly where you want to be, then sometimes you have to throw caution to the wind and do what you need to do to make it yours. If you aren't over the top excited about it, then take your chances and see what happens. In the end, the power to affect whether you lock it up is in the palm of your hands.